Last year is going to be a little bit of motivation for our guys because I know it came up. we came up a little bit short. We've never won a CIF championship. We've never won that last game of the year. So I think the motivation for us is to continue to raise that bar and continue to find a way to get better every single year. So we do every Monday, uh, Coach Scott Stroud, our infield coach, does uh, Move Your Feet Mondays. He's got some music playing, give him a little rhythm. And uh, we just work on footwork. It's so important for our infielders to have good feet that, that we work on that once a week. We turn on the music and make it fun for them. They have a good time with their cone and dance around a little bit. It's just a fun thing to get the week started for the infielders. The more that I go straight and then turn, I'm just slowing down, and that's why when we hit the bag, we usually are about three feet off the base. I want to get out to at least the cut. Give me a good swing so you can go. Yeah, we're going to go through a second time because it's kind of trash. So we have to make sure our toe gets to this side. It's not stopping here. This does absolutely nothing for us, right? When I say mean get out there, I mean get out there. I should be going at a full speed. I should be out here and I should be able to read this throw easily. If somebody wants to try to back pick with our team speed, keep going. They want to try to throw to first base, I will take my chances to try to keep going right in their face. Good. Ah, get out there earlier. Get out there earlier. Good, Cars. That really helps to be that fast, too. Don't be so excited that you just got a single. You're just ready to get back there and high-five Coach Rodriguez and be content. We're looking to get an extra base anytime we can. If they're going to give us that, we're going to take it. Slowly crept in, crept in, and even Caden Connor got a stolen base. <laughs> I know. We almost had time and asked for the baseball. Good. Make sure we don't get our feet too tight because we're not going to be able to dive back. It's under control. This is instinct. I don't have to be the fastest guy in the world to rip it back. It's about timing, it's about rhythm. I think I'm a player's coach. I think that I can be very demanding. I try to really put the onus on them. Uh, we want our players to, to really take some accountability and make some decisions and learn from mistakes when taken. We're not the yeller, screamer kind of coaching staff. I'm not one that's gonna get in their face a ton. Hey Garrett, this came up in San Diego the other day, right? And we said off easy and you had no idea what I was talking about. You were looking at me like I was speaking a foreign language. We try to develop relationships both on and off the field with these guys so that they're comfortable coming to talk to us when they're struggling with something and hopefully it can make a difference in, the, on, in their play and off the field. You have to anticipate this. To load my weight on my backside to be able to throw, right? If we're getting caught right here, we're, we're doing that. We're, we're not Jeter out here. Whoa! Ah, right? Hey, if you take that extra half step that way, right? Boom, I can sling it, I get him, right? I'm throwing from, I'm throwing from here. Okay, from where I'm at, right? We're 6'4", let's stay there instead of trying to stand back up and make it long. Whoa. It starts with Josiah Dixon. Josiah is a four-year starter for us in the outfield. Uh, really a spark plug for us in the lineup. Uh, he could bat anywhere. He's probably the fastest kid I've ever coached. Uh, he's just a game changer, what he's able to do. On defense, he's got a plus-plus arm. Uh, he runs down just about anything. We play him in right field because he actually is almost like a fifth infielder for us. Someone who hasn't seen me play, I'd just like to say, look at me as like a loose, energized guy that brings up everybody in the dugout. Always puts like his best out there, hustling out every single ground ball, even back to the pitcher, doing the most he can to help out his team. Next, I'd have to say Max Radic. Uh, Max is. Uh, defending co-MVP of the Trinity League. He does a little bit of everything for us. He's going to play in the middle infield. Uh, we might end up playing him at second base just to protect the arm a little bit more. Uh, he can play short as well. Uh, but he's going to be our number one guy on the mound, committed to UCLA. Uh, he's going to drive in a lot of runs offensively, and then he's going to take the mound in all the big games. I like to bring um, pitching, a lot of like excitement. I'm, I like playing with a lot of like just a joy and like a lot of passion for the game. Just like pounding the zone, quick tempo when I'm pitching, and then when I'm hitting, uh, I just try to like go middle, oppo gap, and just try to battle every pitch. Christian Rodriguez is another starter for us on the mound. Three-year starter as a pitcher for us. He's a fiery guy on the mound. He throws around 90 miles an hour, low 90s, and he doesn't throw anything straight. He's got a tremendous breaking ball, and guys just seem to feed off his energy on the mound when he's when he's up there. I've talked to a lot of the opposing players that I've talked to. 
Um, they say like it's hard to hit off of me because of my downhill slope and the ball looks like it's going to be low, but it's actually a little bit higher. Um, and I mean, I just bring I just bring the energy. You'll never see me down. You'll never see me hanging my head. Um, I always pick someone up if they need it. And I mean, I'm just I, I like to fly around just like how Josiah Dixon does. We also have a couple of transfers this year. They're going to be huge impacts offensively for us. We have Jared Thomas, who came from Cantwell Sacred Heart. Uh, University of Miami commit that uh, is going to do a lot of catching for us. He's going to hit in the middle of the order. We're going to expect big things for him. He's really, really just advanced in his maturity in the box and, and really is a presence in there. I saw the program. This program is really strong the last few years. Uh, and I saw how they work and they're always competing for a national title. And I just want to be a part of that. Coming from a small school, I want to be a part of a big program, see how that's like. We also added a first baseman that, that moved up here from San Diego from Cathedral Catholic, Garrett Frechette. He's drawn a lot of attention from the Major League Scouts. He's got some big-time uh, light tower power, as we say. He's projected to be a pretty high round draft pick come this spring. Orange Lutheran's a great school. Happened to live real, real close by coming up here, so it was just all for the better, you know, so it's been good. We have seven starters back in the lineup, and so I can sit here and talk about all of them for a long time, but they're all going to be major contributors for us. I thought today's practice was the best we've done in a little while. Just I see guys sweating, working hard, getting after it, and that's what it's going to take. Ready. 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 Pray. 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 Dear God, I just thank you for this wonderful day and just this wonderful opportunity to come out. And I just thank you for this field, Lord, and this weather. You know, I pray, amen. Amen. Let's go. Let's go. Three, one, two, three. Lancers. Lancers. Big hat. Thank you.